Okay guys, this is Michelle here at My Everyday Life Life and I'm going to do a grocery haul for you. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. And guess what? My kitchen table is cleared so I can put my groceries on it to do a um, grocery haul for you. I have not yet got back in the swing of things yet. I've been trying to go to all Aldi's for weeks and finally got there today. I just am not back on doing my meal plan and my grocery hauls and and you know budgeting on that and stuff <laughs> yeah that's furthest from my mind right now I'm getting there we are eating better and stuff so let me get to it so I bought the um, bottled water which was uh, $2.29 so I think Publix sometimes they have buy two get one free um, I think it still ends up to be about $3.99 so I saved you know, almost two dollars there. I bought three of these. Two of them are in the laundry room, and these are um, oh, they're halos. I didn't realize they were halos. I thought they were some kind of off-brand. I don't know how much these are at Publix, but I went ahead and bought these. Uh, they were two forty-nine. Oh yeah, they're more than that at Publix. And I bought an eggplant because I'm gonna make eggplant parmesan for Valentine's Day. For myself, husband doesn't like that. I probably would make him lasagna or something. And I bought some strawberries. I do like to buy the organic strawberries, but they didn't have any organic strawberries. Does all these carry organic things? And I couldn't pass them up because they were in the 99 cents. But I do like to buy the organic strawberries because they are on the dirty dozen list. If you're not sure what that is, I'll put the link down below. Um, it's the top 10 foods that you should buy organic because yeah because I mean look they don't have any peeling on it and it gets super absorbed from the pesticides and stuff so it's better to buy organic I don't know I can't do I can't do everything and as long as I eat 75% of the time um, healthier things with no pesticides all that kind of stuff then I'm good so I bought some, for a treat, I bought some uh, almonds, chocolate covered almonds. These are sea salt ones, though. I'm not sure if I like them. I've bought the, um, was it Brookside brand um, before? I really like, how much were these? These were $3.99. That's expensive. I didn't realize they were that much. And I bought some ricotta cheese to make, um the eggplant parmesan with and um, I forgot to look at the ingredients it's not that bad it has something a few things in there um, that was a dollar sixty nine and I did buy some cheese for the eggplant parmesan some um, some of you had said in my um, cheese video <laughs> where I was demonstrating my um, uh, there's a kitchen aid um, cheese grater thing that they you like um all these cheese um, somebody said they like the shredded cheese but the shredded cheese does have the bad ingredients most brands do this is fine as far as ingredients goes and it did say it would save a lot this is only a dollar sixty nine and a block of cheese when it's on sale at Publix is um, two fifty so that saves a lot but I was looking some things up last night and I found this site called Food UK. I will put the link down below. And it did not rank um, all these cheese very well. It gave it a grade of a C plus or a C minus. And the Publix brand and um, was better. It was like a B minus. And Cabot was one of the better ones. I think that was um, a B plus. So I don't know whether I'm going to keep continuing if I will buy this or not. I don't know. I can't decide. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know. I'm not too worried about uh, budget-wise. I'm not like on a strict budget as far as food goes, but I don't want to be wasteful too and spend a ridiculous amount of money on groceries, and that is one of the biggest budgets pretty much everyone has other than your mortgage, and so that's the place where you want to cut back. I just don't want to be wasteful. I can afford to buy organic and all that kind of stuff. I just don't want to be wasteful. So I bought a ton of the grass-fed uh, grass beef um, that I mentioned 
in another video. I don't remember which, which one. Um, so this is the grass-fed beef, and it is uh, five twenty-nine. If I buy it at Publix, it is like eight dollars, and I just don't buy it. So I just eat the regular, regular beef because I think I buy the green wise, which is more expensive than regular, but not. A, but eight dollars? That's just ridiculous. <laughs> For 16 ounces of grass-fed beef, yeah, that's ridiculous. So I bought four things. Now, all these is a little bit out of the way for me. Not too bad, but I'm 20 minutes. <laughs> and uh, I just can't seem ever to get there. So I went ahead and bought a lot. There's four of them. That ought, that ought to last for six to eight weeks, depending. on. We have tacos every Tuesday. My husband loves tacos. But I don't usually eat it. I have um chicken nachos instead because i won't eat those taco shells either so i bought these taco shells and yes they have some stuff in there actually they're not hugely that bad i don't know if my camera will focus on this but it has whole grain corn vegetable oil it has no, it's not. It just has added um, vitamins, not nice and iron. So actually, this is not that bad. But I just don't like taco shells. I buy the late July brand um, chips and use that and make chicken nachos um, when I do that. So um, that's it. I think that's it for this grocery haul. Hope you enjoyed this, and hopefully, I will get back to doing a more grocery hauls and meal planning and trying to get um, back on track and. I encourage you to eat healthy and make one simple change, like the um, shredded cheese. You Oh, that's what I wanted to say. I looked at the price of the shredded cheese, and the ha Happy Farms shredded cheese was $2.69 for 12 ounces, and this was $1.69 for 8 ounces. And so you save you save money still if you buy the um, if you buy the uh, block cheese plus. Even the um, all these uh, shredded cheese has added things in it. But another uh, subscriber mentioned you could put a little flour in the shred shredded cheese um, so it doesn't clump like that. If um, but I can't put flour in my cheese when you shred it with the KitchenAid mixer. I can't put flour in it because I need to be gluten free. So that don't really work for me. And again, I said it doesn't really bother me that it clumps up like that it's not a big deal that's it for this grocery haul i gotta go and make some dinner i'm starving bye bye mm -hmm.